Welcome everybody to this edition of Attention Talks video. I'm your host, Attention and ADHD coach, Jeff Copper. Today I'm here talking to those with ADHD about intuition. What is intuition? That gut feeling, that sense, but really what is it? Well, I can't prove this. I, I don't think in any way, shape or form. Number one, I'm not a scientist and not, um, uh, and, and not smart enough to figure out how to craft uh, such an experiment, but uh, uh, this is my take after uh, interviewing those with ADHD for years. You've got actually different kinds of attention. You have narrow attention, you have scanning attention, you have uh, uh, passive attention, you have directed attention, you have inward attention and external attention. And for our purposes, I just want to focus on narrow attention and scanning attention. Narrow, at narrow attention is like uh, uh, typing a text or writing a letter. You're very focused um, on and very narrowly. Scanning attention is more like when you're driving down the road. You've got cars that are passing, changing speeds. You've got the weather. You've got different signs, lights. There's lots kind of going on. And so I find that uh, uh, the best way to describe um, in intuition is, is your scanning attention is picking up a picture of something. So, for example, have you ever seen somebody and said, something's different about this person? You don't really know what it is. And after a while, all of a sudden, you realize they shaved their mustache. Well, Metaphorically, your scanning attention has this big picture picture of them and you're comparing the new picture and the old picture in your mind together and there's something that's different and you don't know what it is. Your gut is telling you that there's something with that picture. It's not until your narrow attention can actually identify exactly what's different that you can actually kind of point it out. So something like a mustache being there gone is something that's really kind of tangible. But people's patterns of behavior become more difficult and more difficult to recognize. I remember when I was in college, I had a roommate um, who would drink alcoholic beverages. And oddly enough, I was one of the few who could actually tell when he was inebriated. And I would have been his roommate for years. And then finally, one day I began to realize is that when his head was slightly forward, that was the indication that he was inebriated. And I actually was able to point it out to everybody and everybody was able to catch it. I'm not contoning the use of alcohol, but I'm just using that as an example of what it is. And often those with ADHD, I, again, I have no way of proving this, but after coaching for years, many of them have a heightened sense of intuition because I think they pick up on big picture patterns um, and behaviors and they see things. It's not always right because there are varying factors like you, there might be a behavior of a person uh, or people in general that you pick up on, all of a sudden there's a different cultured person and their culture changes the way, way that behavior manifests and so it's not always right. But my point really is, is that intuition your gut is scanning attention that you're picking up on something and you're not real sure what it is and it's not till your narrow attention can point it out that you can identify it but it's difficult and rare that you actually can identify that. The one thing that I have learned uh, is in coaching those with ADHD is to begin to ask them about their intuition, help them see if we can identify it, and also ask them to listen to their intuition a little bit more often. I know me, I listened to my intuition multiple times in my life when I was being told to learn something a certain way, and my gut said I really just wasn't going to learn it that way, so I went off and did it my way. Uh, for example, uh, doing term papers in college, I interviewed subject matter experts as opposed to going to the library. Uh, my gut told me that going to the library was just going to be a, a waste of time and my intuition said do something different. So my point here today is if you have ADHD and a lot of times you feel things in your gut and intuition, I really wanted to define it and kind of put a picture on it so that you might be able to identify your uh, intuition and listen to it a little bit more readily um, and use it to your advantage. So uh, we, I hope you've enjoyed this tip. Um, your thoughts are welcome. Please comment below. Um, I try to respond to most of those as best I can on this topic I'm particularly interested in. So, also, if you've enjoyed this tip others, please subscribe to Attention Talk video. So with that, I hope you've enjoyed this edition. Take care.